Northwestern 4-0, and ranked 16th in the nation, heading into Saturday's big showdown with Minnesota, a game you can see at noon Eastern time here on BTN. Justin Jackson, Northwestern running back, is joining us now from our studio in Evanston. Justin, as I mentioned, you guys are undefeated at this point. Last year, you were struggling a little bit. What's the biggest change in your mind between how you guys have started the season this year as compared to last year? You know, I think it was just the confidence, you know, within our team. I also think it's just the way we're finishing. I think in the fourth quarter, we're doing a lot better this year. Kind of back to, you know, what we feel like what our identity is here at Northwestern and uh, doing well in the fourth quarter and finishing games off strong. So um, I think we're doing that a lot better this year, and I think it's translating into some victories. Now you head into October, a month that, as I'm sure you're aware, has not been all that kind to Northwestern in recent years. Been a good September team, been a good November team, but 4-12 and 12 in the last 16 in October. What has Pat Fitzgerald said to you about keeping the momentum going? Yeah, I think, you know, with us starting class, you know, four games in, I think it's, we've let it be too much of a distraction for us. You know, obviously you have to do well in class, and he, you know, class 10 is mandatory. He says it every single day, but we have to make sure that we're, we're staying in the film room, we're, we're getting together, you know, as an offense, as, an, as a defense, and staying up, you know, staying up on things. And I think that this year we're doing a lot better with that than last year. You know, I think the guys are coming in, still getting the film work in, and getting everything, and, and you know, handling your business Monday through Friday with class. And then when it comes Saturday, just focusing on the game and focusing on, you know, getting in there and doing well and uh, performing at the best of our abilities. You have more carries at this point than any running back in the nation. How are you holding up physically? I feel, I feel really good, actually. And I think, uh, you know, this year a lot more experienced with things like this, you know, and, and obviously just trying to get in the training room, trying to keep my body, up, you know, up to, up to speed. And you know, I think we, our coaching staff and our training staff have a great plan that they put together every week to make sure that we're as healthy as can be when we come to practice on Tuesday so we can get after it. And then obviously just, just shoulder pads and helmets on Wednesday and just, you know, dialing through the week, being physical in the beginning of the week, more mental at the end of the week, and then making sure we're ready for the game on Saturday. Part of the reason for your huge workload is that you do have an inexperienced quarterback in Clayton Thorson, a guy I know you've known for quite some time, back to mm -hmm. when you guys were growing up in the Chicago suburbs. Mm -hmm. How have you seen him develop at that quarterback spot? And I think he's, you know, he's getting a lot more confident. He's learning every single day. You know, he's becoming a better leader throughout the entire, you know, the first four games. And I, and I can see him just, you know, his progression is just going up and up. Um, I think he, you know, is a great character kid, and he's a per he's perfect fit for our offense. And I think he's just becoming more comfortable. You know, in last year at this point, you know, as a running back, I know I wasn't as comfortable. You know, I didn't have everything down. He's got a lot more on his plate as a, you know, being a quarterback. So he's only four games in. We know he's going to make mistakes, but we got to be there to back him up and help him out. What's his demeanor like, Justin? I mean, when things are going poorly, as they did in that first half on Saturday against Ball State, how does he react? You know, he's, he'll be the first person at the bench saying, you know, my fault, we'll get it fixed. Let's just keep going. Let's keep, you know, trying, keep, you know, working hard, just being, you know, a good offense. And, and we want to be more consistent. And he, he knows he has to be better taking care of the ball, but, you know, all of us do. And, you know, it's a team effort. And I think that, you know, as a team, we're, we're, we're approving a lot, especially as an offense. You know, our defense is going to keep us in games, but we want to we wanna be able to, you know, push the tempo and score a lot more points than we have been. And I think we're, you know, we're getting better than that. And we developed a, a deep passing attack, you know, last week. And I think once we, if we keep that up, you know, it's going to loosen up the run game for us. I think we're going to be better as an offense because of that. What adjectives would you use to describe your defense to this point? Oh, uh, man, man, they, they, they just fly around, they make a lot of plays, they get a lot of turnovers, you know, and they have a lot of confidence, and I think that stemmed from the offseason. They, they, I saw them, you know, in the weight room, you know, before and after we ha had to be there, you know, just getting that extra work in, and it's really translated, you know, to the practice field and to the game field. I have full confidence that they'll, you know, hold any team we face under 10 points. You know, they have that confidence, and when you have that confidence and you have the type of players we have on defense, I think they can go out there and do that. Now, your brother plays at Northwest Missouri State. They are 4-0 and also. Is there any kind of competition going on between the two of you? <laughs> no, there's no competition. We talk to each other before every game. We just wish each other luck. You know, we talk about, you know, how our teams are doing, how our offenses are doing, things like that, things we're learning. You know, you know we're just trying to help each other out. You know, there's no competition. We both want the best for each other. And, you know, after I have a good game, he tells me, good game, great job, I'm proud of you. And I do the same to him. So, you know, his team's very good. He's got a very good team, and he's playing very well. So I'm really happy for him. 
You were majoring in economics, which is not an easy course of study. You kind of alluded to this a little bit earlier, but how difficult is it for you to balance the academics and the athletics? I mean, it's incredibly difficult. You know, I think not only for us, but, you know, any, any athlete who's doing, uh, you know, having to perform at a high level on and off the field. So, you know, you just got to really be structured with your time, you know, get in, get out, you know, doing things, you know, not having a lot of chill time or a lot of time to just linger around. So you really got to get stuff done. And, you know, when it comes to the season, I think I'm a lot more experienced this year than last year. I'm doing a lot better in the film room and in the classroom. So, you know, I think it's just something you have to learn. It's a learning experience. And as you go out throughout the season, I think, you know, you get better with it. Well, Justin, congratulations on all your success. Best of luck on Saturday and throughout the year. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Zach.